Hello everyone, and welcome to the stream. This Otaku Show vote today is Tuesday, February 4th, 2020. If you're watching the vault on YouTube, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and if you are so inclined, head on over to twitch.tv slash otaku show to leave a follow to be notified when I go live Sundays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays from 10 a.m. to approximately 1 p.m. U.S. Eastern Time. You can do all of the social stuff through the links below the video, including supporting Pyandon's mods development at patreon.com slash Pyandon, and myself at patreon.com slash otakushowboat. Good morning, everyone. Time for more pie alien life. Let's just get right to it, shall we? Lots of things. Lots of things are on the to-do list right now. Um, stuff that I have been working on both off screen, etc. Patch notes? What patch notes? That there's not in in terms of like what's changed with Alien Life, not too awfully much. Uh King Arthur I don't think has gotten around to really fixing the issues we brought up last time with the caravans, at least not in the version that I currently have. Uh the the caravans aren't Fixed yet, but there are other things, such as the fixing of the codex that is involved in the production of your first Yotoi aloe, as well as your first Cadaveric Aurum. Uh, that that has changed from Circuit 2s to Circuit 1s, so now they are uh, completely available uh, and have actually been crafting. Uh, I, I, they, they, they're moving. So I, I, I do already have the initial sets of, uh, of technically both Orum and Yotoi, but, uh, we can only really do one of those right now. We can only do the Yotoi, grow them, because I don't have Neobium yet to build the Orum greenhouses. Anyway, uh, so I have trains now. That's that's like the uh the the first the first thing is I have some uh I have some trains. Uh, I've decided oh thank you so much for the uh for the prime sub. Thank you so much, Blue Bottle, for the prime sub. Yeah, so I've got I've got I've got stuff. I've got stuff. Oh, King Arthur apparently also fixed the GUI issue. And is uh working on the caravans thing for Sunday. Alright. Only waiting on King Arthur to fix the stuff for uh, for the release of Alien Life, and in the meantime, Pyanodon is apparently just adding more and more things. Uh, preferably, preferably Pyanodon will uh, address the uh, the uh, the 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 missing use of immunosuppressants at some point. That's uh, that's something I'm hoping that is being addressed uh, at the at the at this moment in time. Uh, so yeah, I have, I have, I have TSM. I'm also doing one, two trains this time. The, uh, the on the rails playthrough used two, four trains. Here I am using, uh, one, two. Just, just, just to, to note that uh, it keeps, it act, it keeps things a little bit smaller than what they were, uh, in that previous playthrough. It looks like Planeton is not here today at least not yet we shall see if planned on does show up uh in all of that in the list at some point but uh yeah so i have i have a few i have a few rails placed uh, at the moment uh as well as a number of uh you know setups that i've been working on uh let's see yeah so it's uh Thank you so much, Blue Bottle. Uh, I've got I've got lots of tutorials, most of which are uh, officially outdated, uh, slash will be outdated as of Alien Life releasing. Uh, I will need to make new ones uh, for Alien Life once uh, once it's released. Though I think I'm I'm going to hold off on actually making videos on the changes to the early game, the changes with Red Science, Green Science, Blue Science. Adding pie science, uh, and purple science. The yeah, the ore ones are okay. It's 
although there have been some updates the biggest change was the the lead split at high grade for the silver uh, and lead but the ore ones the ore ones are fine it's for the most part it's primarily the uh the science ones that uh, need to be changed uh so anyway uh i had built this iron remember last time uh, i had uh, i had i had this and oh yeah and the bit of a the change in the numbers for nexlet but i do say in my videos numbers may change at any time uh, so i at least have the disclaimer that the numbers can change um i had built this the last time to and showed that now it's all just connected onto my rails uh, i have expanded borax but i actually need to give it some dedicated syngas right now it's just coming off the bus for the syngas i need to build something more more dedicated for that uh, fortunately there's a nearby source of tar to feed that uh, and a nearby source of coal to void that ash uh, that that will produce so this will be fine uh, thus far on the uh, on the borax uh, then I've got also got the tin and I've got a dedicated setup for supplying crude oil we'll see what I end up doing with this what uh, what sort of oil processing I may do with this. I may change this to provide more than just uh, more than just the crude oil onto the network. So yeah, that's that's great. All of that great things. Uh, of course, we've got the 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 obligatory uh, the the obligatory salt salt shall flow. The salt shall flow. This is a uh, hundred and eighty per second of salt the salt the salt shall flow very much it 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 will it's it's flowing and it consumes like if i used all 180 per second and this thing was moving all the time uh this would end up consuming 7.2 coke per second seems a little low yeah seems a little low huh <sighs> I've also I've also got like a big depot here for adding more trains when I need them at some point. Yeah, it, se it seems a little low. That's why I've built where there's also these other sources of another 50 here per second and another how many is this? 8, 80 here. So another 50 and another 80 per second there of the salt plus an more here. So there's there's more salt that can actually flow into this supply, which is fine. Yeah, times 20 and I'm at uh, Immortals level. Uh, it, we're not lacking for salt deposits, uh, fortunately, on this map. Um, what else? Uh, I built glass. Uh, glass was basically just a copy-paste from the on-the-rails playthrough. I mean, it was, it was, it was actually an on-the-rails copy paste i loaded up on the rails i brought my blueprint book over from that playthrough into this one did got rid of a lot of stuff because the rail setups were different so i've just been adding to that but in particular i had brought over the blueprints for the uh pure sand uh, as well as the uh overall just big line of high pressure furnaces uh for producing uh glass and if I'm remembering correctly, this is 30 per second of glass. This is just two yellow belts from uh, from five of quartz. Five yellow belts of quartz to two yellow belts of glass out at this level of processing. Uh, that will ideally change uh, over time. Uh, outside of that... Uh, what else is brand new? Sulfur. I've got, I've got sulfur. I did things a little differently on this sulfur, as you can probably see here. Uh, I brought some, I brought some logi bots over. Uh, and this is this is uh, a station powered by logi bots. So just just to do something a little bit different, not have as much uh, belt usage here on these uh, sixteen silver mines so 
so yeah this is this is producing like 20 some odd per second of uh sulfur it's it's enough for the logic bots to uh to to move the things i think i have like 500 logic bots in this particular network yeah 500 at a time coke in to feed the machines uh with power uh and then uh sulfur out uh, glass is the worst ore to plate chain. Yeah, that I I agree. I would I would agree with this statement, uh, and be ready to go deep with it. Yeah. At least we can get salt biologically now. Question mark. Uh, we could. Yes, technically. Uh, how the bulk? How do the bulk rail loaders work with pi ores? Just fine. Just like bulk bulk rail loaders are basically inserters they, they don't care what type of resource you're loading they they're they're just uh they're just they're just lots of inserters lots of lots of fast inserters and they get faster with increased uh stack level of inserters but uh yeah the the the, the glass is like you need a lot of it and you get a very little out for a really long time. That's that's the issue with uh, with glass. You need to you need to keep your glass upgraded with your tech level. Uh, so this this is one of those ore types you need to keep at your current tech level uh, at all times to make sure that you have enough. Uh, it's the next step at blue science that is the most important, I think. Uh, that that will be very important. That'll be a big, big boost to the uh, amount of glass we have available. Uh, let's see. Outside of that, um, not really too much else to note here. I finished the titanium. Remember last time I was working on the titanium? I finished it. Uh, so this is this is now producing actual titanium plates. Uh, and it's going uh, into a train, into a train, and also onto my bus. Uh, there, yeah, there is a uh, there is a way to get infinite amounts of glass from sand. <laughs> Basically, you you can get infinite amounts, but you can only do that at Blue Science. That's the that's the that's the thing to note is it is a Blue Science tech that gives you that recipe that uh, you can. You can classify sand into uh, crushed quartz, iron oxide, and gravel. Uh, and that is a very good source of iron oxide, it is a very good source of gravel, and it is a very good source of infinite amounts of glass. Also, tar. I have right here. I, ha I have tar. <laughs> and then here is an unfinished, unfinished copper processing array. I guess I, I guess I should call it something a little bit more. Uh, so this is the like biggest setup I've ever done with copper, just for reference. I did not do this with copper on the on the rails playthrough, not at this scale. Uh, I built out like one yellow belt of processing. Uh, all the way to uh, to the the molten step, all the way to the molten step, um, and I did so with good reason because a it's huge, it's like it's gar it's gargantuan. Just this is this is a lot of stuff. This is a lot of buildings to process five yellow belts uh, worth. I'm realizing that there's there's blanks in this. I need to go fix that. This is not done. This is not done. Um, this, I I need molten because I want to do molten. Uh, I want to do molten based duralumin. How many plates is that that I built here? Um, up to eighty point six. If I was turning all of the molten into plates, that this is this is what I've been building here. Uh, this is not done yet because it needs it needs borax in, coke in, tar in. It needs oxygen on site. The tar is for 
the sand castings, and I need a lot of voiding. I need a lot of, a lot of voiding of the uh, gravel in particular. I've set up the stone voiding, I think. Yeah, I've set up, I've set up the stone voiding. I need to set up for the way to get rid of the gravel. Uh, and I really should have a separate thing to, like, store in the, the tailings and send them onto network, but outside of that, uh, I am very tempted to not do this step, not do this step of making these into plates, because my concern here is having the molten always move even if I'm backed up on plates. So I think what I'll do is I will process the plates, but overflow, if it if it backs up, set a priority splitter here to then void this stuff if we are full on plates so that the grade four can keep moving and I can keep getting molten copper. And if I'm backed up on Molten Copper, then it can back up the rest of the system just fine. It's... It's okay. Huh. <sighs> so, yeah. yeah. I mean, ultimately, it's like just 12.7 plates on this. So, yeah. Stuff. Things. It's... It's also 16.2 borax, plus 3.4, but only 1.2 on the sand casting, so I'm going to bring the, uh, the tar in and convert it into sand castings to use here, and I'll directly bring in the borax. So, there's a lot of work left on the copper. It's going to need uh, at least three input train stations. Uh, as well as at least two output train stations, possibly even three, to get the tailings on the network. Uh, I may get the uh, gravel on the network and s some stone. We'll see about that. There's there's lots of opportunities here uh, for for this, uh, and it is a lot of a lot of stuff uh, and a lot of work to uh, to do all of that. So. Yeah. Things. What are we doing today? Good question. That amount of tar is via wood locally. Well, here's here's the thing about wood. It's a lot slower and it's a lot bigger of a se of setups for wood now. It's it's a it's a lot bigger of setups for wood now. Also, cough 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 I have the tar locally. I can just pipe my tar. I, I don't even need the station. In all actuality, I don't need the station because the tar is right here. And its consumption is going to be like right here to make into some sand castings. So I don't, I don't even need a train to take it from right here to right here. That, that's not needed. That's not necessary. Uh, I'm, d I'm doing that type of thing a lot as well. Send it via barrels. Uh, nah. Nah, nah. Nah, nah, nah. Uh, so bedding. Uh, the, 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 the idea for today was to do bedding. Just go on something, a completely different tangent for today and do something on stream that's a lot more related to pie alien life type stuff and uh, not to do a lot of the like vanilla stuff that we've seen in the previous playthroughs and that we've seen in uh, the tutorials I am a genius oh really oh really well you're very welcome for, for showing these setups Yeah, limestone limestone tiles are are really nice. I would like to can I can I even make those right now? I think so. 
yeah, I can I can totally do some ironstone tiles. I probably should. I should probably set up some uh, automation of those limestone tiles. That's uh, that's creosote. Yeah, that's that's creosote. Ha, <laughs> please don't wreck the mod again. Uh, and don't touch the caravans. Well, yeah, that's that's the idea. Is I'm not going to. I'm not going to do anything that I know is going to break things. So, bedding... <laughs> bedding is expensive. Just, I'm going to make this completely clear right off the bat. Bedding is not cheap to make. Um, and I need to look at the total power usage per unit of bedding because I think there's the potential that if you're trying to do your aug power so if so aug aug power is a thing and the bedding is required to restore the uh the tired augs if I can find at the, the bottom of this list. The bedding, bedding is required to restore your tired augs. So I need to compare how much power does one aug total provide? I think it, it has like a 30-ish megawatt uh, power use. Uh, and I need to see how much uh, it takes to produce two units of bedding to restore that tired aug. Uh, and the difference is going to be uh, how much power you actually get out of this system. Uh, and, and of course, you have to take into account the, the power required to make the two food on top of that. Um, something tells me that it's really close, uh, those two values. Uh, the, the power used to make the power. Uh, uh, something tells me it's either really close or net negative uh, overall in the uh, in the current state yes I can I can absolutely use Helmod to do that calculation and that was that was going to be uh, my plan here so betting if we add betting and then we add so we have to make a determination here uh, because it is very likely that it is not a net positive at the very start of the game, but becomes net positive after the uh, better recipes. Og, og one. Oh, the no, the the power og. Yeah, the uh, the the blazed the blazed og has a two hundred megajoule value. Yeah, that I I I know that. It's what, it's what I'm getting to, King Arthur. It's what I'm getting to. Later on, you get access to augs with more fuel value, and you get access to better recipes to increase your output of stuff that may change these numbers drastically. But the drink looks expensive. The drink is relatively expensive. Just, yeah, it is relatively expensive. That, uh, that much is uh, for certain. So, wood comes from logs. Logs come from any of these recipes. Now, these recipes have changed. Uh, it used to be that every single log recipe gave three logs. Well, look here. Ash and tailings and CO2 now gives eight logs every 15 seconds. Eight logs every 15 seconds. The, uh, the wastewater recipe with wood seedlings now is nine logs per craft. Uh, so while this one is a slower crafting time, this one is a better output for your input than other recipes. Granted, try getting enough wastewater. <laughs> that's 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 not going to be the most ideal of situations. Uh, fertilizer and seedlings and water gives 8 logs. Tailings and CO2 gives 7. The, uh, Ash and water gives six. Ash, just ash, ash and water is six, which is really neat. 
Uh, now, the, uh, the, the very important carbon dioxide and water gives five logs now. Five logs for the CO2 recipe. Uh, the water one gives four, and the uh, one that is wastewater and CO2 gives ten. Uh, and, of course, the base recipe gives three. So this has changed dramatically. Uh, we need to rerun the numbers on the, the CO2 recipe at some point. Uh, but, yeah, it's like, if you if you want to, like, really calculate the power of this, just we're going to need to use Helmod. Uh, the other thing is that this is going to be very expensive on Grodd. Very expensive on Grodd. Uh, if there's, like, not a really good output recipe that we have access to early on. Uh, and Grodd uses Urea. Always. Always uses Urea. Uh, so this might be a little bit of a problem for us if we're trying to set up bedding. Uh, I have a tutorial for making Circuit 2s. Uh, it's two separate videos, but I... Watch my tutorial series on uh, on YouTube, uh, and it will cover uh, how to uh, approach the production of Circuit 2s. Uh, that, will, that will help dramatically. Uh, there will be some changes with Alien Life on some of the raw material stuff with circuit twos but not not everything is changed on circuit twos i think circuit twos are mostly the same it's more so now that you have to make uh something different uh than circuit twos uh to get to blue science uh in alien life now you need to make this uh uh neuro processor out of brains uh, and some circuit components. Hello, Ave. Hello. Welcome. Welcome, one and all. I am looking at ways with which to make bedding. And I am not very happy uh, when looking at uh, Grodd. Uh, so Grodd, the best Grodd recipe gives seven at the cost of limestone soil, five urea. All of this is going to consume five urea uh, and three grod seeds. <sighs> All right. This is, this is what I'm going to say. We're going to be using the bedding to get more urea. So my... I'm just going to have to pray that this is a positive feedback loop. <laughs> I I'm just going to pray that this is a positive feedback loop for being able to use the bedding to make even more urea. So we're just we're just going to place place that recipe down. The rest of the stuff is free. Yeah, more loops to math out. Uh, the rest of the stuff is free because when I when I if I keep going down this chain, right? If I keep going down this chain and like try to say, hey, we're going to get we're going to get urea from liquid manure and zogna. Well, we have that recipe for the zogna, so it's like, okay, we're we're definitely going to be spending petri dishes and lamps now. Uh with even with even more wood, by the way. Even more wood uh being consumed out of this. Uh but the liquid manure is gonna take manure and I have to pick what recipe the manure uses. Well, what we have access to will be uh, the Aug Manure 4, which will be salt fiber, raw fiber I should say, Aug food, and bedding. And bedding. And bedding. Ah, <sighs> so yeah, this will be, uh, this will be interesting. Uh, and then we also have to go down the Yotoi chain, which will also have a loop associated with it, because we need to maintain... Well, actually, no. 
Yotoi is different. Yotoi is a little bit different than other things. Um, the leaves come from the Yotoi aloe, but in order to actually make the Yotoi seeds, you process Yotoi fruit, and Yotoi fruit do not take a seed or aloe input. So the process of making Yotoi aloe is actually completely separate. It's a completely separate thing that you set up that will be producing your seeds that you can use to get more Yotoi aloe. Uh, and then you can use that Yotoi aloe completely separately. So your seeds are going to come from a production area uh, and produce seeds for you. It'll, you'll have the production area that'll have Yotoi aloe modules producing fruit processed into seeds. You'll then feed those seeds as an input into a separate processing area to give you the aloe mark one to give you the uh, leaves. So they're actually separate independent systems, which is a lot more ideal than having loops. So there's this doesn't actually require loops on the Yotoi. It's, it's very, very nice. Uh, you can also make fiber out of the Yotoi leaves, but it requires... Actually, no, I'm, I'm thinking of the wrong thing. It's, uh... It's... Actually, no, I think it, I think it is raw fiber. Is the process bedding positive? That's what I'm trying to find out. Is, is the, is this, is the, is bedding a, a positive thing? That's, that's what I'm trying to test. That's what I'm testing. Is, is the bedding recipe too expensive? Uh, for purpose. Uh, it, that's what I'm trying to find out is if this is too expensive to make to actually really use it uh, at scale uh, at with the initial recipes that you can use it for. I have no doubt that later recipes it becomes more valuable. It lasts. It should ideally go further, give you better outputs uh, the later you get in the tech, but the question I have is, is it worth it early? And I don't know about this five wood, five leaves, and two dried grod, and five raw fiber costing for one bedding. It seems like a lot. It, it seems like a lot potentially too much but uh, that is what we are going to find out today uh, so we're going to need grod we're going to need wood uh, we're going to need fiber And we are, of course, going to need the Otoy stuff. I'm just going to start shoving things into my car for the moment. Uh, and the Yotoi is over here. Those are just the buildings. Uh, I also need to grab representative samples of various things. I have already done the uh, initial production of A, Aurum, uh, and B, of Yotoi. Uh, and, technically, also of Grodd. Uh, that is in a chest, a steel chest somewhere here. Uh, Grodd. Uh, so I have those things. I also have some amounts of Kikalk uh, over here some amounts of kick elk. Uh, I do have like some chests of fiber here on the network. They're they're full of fiber from kick elk, but we're going to make something more dedicated. Dedicated for bedding production. Uh, also I will need uh, botany uh, botanical nurseries, I should say, and uh, wood 
processing units at a minimum. Where are my botanical nurseries? Right here. And uh, some assembling machines. Assembling machines are nice. Yes, that that bot migration. They're they're building buildings. Good morning, Scooter Jack. Hello. Welcome. We are going to be making bedding today. That is the plan. Bedding. At what scale? I have no idea. But we're doing we're doing bedding. We're we're attempting to do bedding. I'll I'll put it that way. Uh bedding bedding shall be attempted today. Yes, non zero bedding. Absolutely non zero bedding. Huh? I'm not doing circuit twos. I am not doing circuit twos. Not right now. We are at green science. We are at green science. That is where we are. Green. We are not even remotely close to blue. We are not even remotely close to uh, to circuit twos yet. Oh, no. They're not being manufactured. That's... You get access to Mark II buildings well before you can build them. You get you get access to Mark II's way before, way before. Hundred and six, yeah. So take this number with a little bit of a grain of salt. Uh, I've been on speed two for a long time. I've kept I've had the game running off screen at speed two as well as uh most recently speed five <laughs> on occasion. Uh when waiting for very specific very specific things to uh to craft. Yeah. Anyway. Where am I gonna build this? I don't know. Over here, I guess we'll uh we'll do this here, like uh you know just goodbye. <laughs> uh, so the car does have a it does have a gun. It does have a gun, and if I had ammo in it, I could manually target the the rocks with it. But, uh, nah. So I'm gonna need a lot, like, this, this is, this is gonna be lots of infrastructure. So, Grodd will need the urea in, so let me just, how much, uh, how much of this stuff? So I need urea. Just to make note of that, uh, the seeds get made in a standard assembling machine. I would think. Oh no, they're not. They're done. They, these are different. They're done in a nursery. Hi, grod seeds. Yeah, yeah, that's important. How many of these? Two. Two grod on an additional set of seeds. Uh, you need three seeds. This produces four seeds. So that'll start the. Uh, that'll start the uh, feedback positive feedback loop here going so I can get a lot more grod. Uh, so urea is required here in. Um, I'll do that. I'll do, I'll do that if I remove th the stuff there. One per second gives a better idea of scale. Yes, it would, but, uh, I also have to do things like add five, six, six grod here to the module slots manually by scrolling down this list. Would help if I don't miss the stuff. 
each time. There we go. That's six grod. A uh, hundred and forty-two. My question with setting of default modules is does it apply to this very specific building or does it try to apply the default modules across every single building ever? That's that's what I mean I could set default but does that like apply to this building and every other building? Yes, the module the module list is really big. And that even even setting this default, even setting the default, I still have to click this button six times. I still have to do that initially, so I can... Uh, anyway. Uh, so 7.2 urea per second. 7.2 urea per second. That's... that's... stuff. What icon? Apply with the current module priority. What? What are you referring to? The the one the one I yeah that that sets like the mark level stuff default on the grods with with those active modules. So every every time I add the grod, it will bring this up. Yeah, that's that's fine. Anyway, I'm I'm not here to I'm not here to deal with UI stuff with Hellmod. Hellmod is notoriously bad UI. I'm I'm here just I'm just trying to get a general idea. Just trying to get a general idea and I see that 410 grod, well, this is misleading because I also need the grod for the seeds. I also need Grod for seeds, so I actually need, so I actually need to do a matrix solver, enable, and see that we need 9.1 urea per second to feed one bedding per second. So yeah, that's that's a thing. That is a thing. 9.1 Which of course is going to come from the liquid manure from the uh uh hello zero what why does Helmod do this why why does why does Helmod do this like I I click the I click I click the thing and it's like oh let's put zero let's not put 9.1 let's put let's put zero why does this do this <laughs> what why does this why does this do this this is like this is stupid <laughs> Why is it not doing nine nine point one nine point one? That's that's what I want here, but no, it's it it production zero percent production. There is a urea recipe above. Okay, I'm blind. That's why it's uh, it's I'm blind. Uh, so nine point one. That's lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of stuff. Okay. 3.1 manure. There's there's the idea here. So 3.1 manure not done through bedding. What what if we do it through bedding? Oh boy. Oh boy. Where's the uh where's the og manure 4? Yeah, og manure 4. What if we did this through bedding? Um Yeah. About that.
Um, so. Not worth it? Can, can we, can we agree? Can, can we, can we agree? That it's, that it's not worth it? I, I, I think, I think we can agree. This is not worth it. Uh, this, it, Pi Alien Life is not released. We are testing Pi Alien Life. Officially, officially we are testing Pi Alien Life. And it's for this very purpose. It is for this very purpose that we are testing Pi Alien Life. To, uh, to do this. So, I will make, I will, I will note. Pyanodon does not use hell mod. Pyanodon does not use hell mod. Think about that for a second. Because if Pyanodon used hell mod, he would be able to find this stuff easily. Ish. You can see what we did here. That process of what we did here just now. Uh, and see that, oh hey. This is not ideal. In the slightest. Uh, this is... Uh, it looks like it takes 7.5 units of bedding per second to net 1. If you are using a bedding recipe to get the manure for the urea. Now the question is, uh, because there's, because there is very little point in just pointing out the problem. Uh, if you're going, if you find a problem, you have to suggest a solution. Well, part of this is that bedding is a little bit too expensive on Grodd in particular, and in, and in particular, in particular, the big issue here is the ratio of Grodd to dried Grodd. Um, this should follow Relesia to dried Relesia. Um, Relesia has a dry, and it is one to one. So, honestly, Grodd needs to be one to one uh, for going into dried Grodd. That that I think would help a lot here, uh, because this would still require. A lot of stuff but that that alone would fix a lot of this because Grodd is urea and that's what's causing this huge loop that's what that's what's causing this huge loop if it, if this was a one-to-one -one of Grodd into dried Grodd we would dramatically dramatically reduce the amount of required urea to feed bedding and it becomes a lot more viable to actually use bedding to make more bedding. Just that alone. Make a copy and set it to output 15 grads so we can see the cost. Um, yeah, so let's let's do a uh, let, let's do a production block on 15 grad so that we can take a look at that. Uh, I'll just do grad. Which recipe was this? Grod 4? Grod 3? 
grad 4 right there. Set it to output 15. So 10.8 urea. 10.8 urea for 15 grad. If it was 1 to 1 and we we're looking for if we were looking for one bedding and one bedding being and one bedding being 15 dried or no if if one bedding yeah, let's let's get rid of the uh the matrix well let's let's keep the matrix solver but get rid of that urea that uh that manure recipe in particular one bedding to two dried all right one to two dried let's let's have this one bedding to two dried and uh, just making note here that's 10.8 urea for 15. You want me to... Alright, so you want me to keep it as it was with the uh, Aug Manure 7 recipe. Do a copy and just paste it on a separate block. Um, actually, I have to I have to get rid of that so we can set the uh, output stuff. Yeah, Helmut has a copy paste set output to fifteen grad. How do I set a like output thing to uh to to stuff? It 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 does it by output here. I would have to do it by like an ingredient input to uh. And get like get rid of everything else outside of the grod itself. I have to like I have to like get rid of every earth earthing earth earthing eh, bleh, whatever. I'm I'm done. I I'm I'm done. I I don't want to spend all the time looking at Helmod. I I I'd rather not spend 3 hours looking at at just Helmod when we when we see the the problem here and I don't think Helmod has that capability of telling us exactly what would happen if a recipe was changed. Not in the way that is intended. All, all I all I want to know is what I need for one bedding, and from what I can see in the existing state, it's going to be a lot. It's it's going to be a lot. Oh hey, and it's also like 175 megawatts, just of the stuff that exists here, which isn't. We're not even looking at the Yotoi yet. We're not even looking at the raw fiber yet. We're not even looking at the wood yet this is just one aspect of this recipe just i making this clear with the bedding this is just one aspect of bedding for grod this is this is just grod uh, i think the yotoi will be fine i think the fiber will be fine because those things have different costs. That's not urea. And the wood should be fine. That's the other three items here is basically just going to be scale. Scale of things. It's the it's the grod that is causing this big loop because it requires urea. Because it is requiring urea, that's what's uh, that's what's contributing a lot to this, and the fact that it is five grod per dried. So the fact that it's five grod per dried plus it requires urea, that makes this too insane. It is not a negative loop. It is not uh, in terms of input output. You do end up with, you do end up with 
more than what is used. Why are these numbers different now? What what changed in this? Was wasn't this 7.5? Hold up. What happened here? Wasn't this like 7.5? I I don't I don't even like I don't I don't I don't even one go. Oh, because I I'm using the wrong recipe here. That's why. That's that is why I was using a better food recipe when I should have been using a uh, a regular og food. Uh, og manure four. That's the one. That's the one. You can see though, you can see though, using better og food changed the math dramatically. So using using that better og food recipe that uh, was this one, og manure seven, that changed the math dramatically just by using the better og food. The problem is I can't make better og food. Uh, I don't have that recipe yet, I don't think. Do I have this? Like, I'm pretty sure I don't have access to the better og food recipe yet. If I, if I look at this and do og food I do not. It is it is red background. I do not currently have access to this uh, at this tech level. So that d is not a thing that I can consider right now. What I can consider is the best recipe that I have access to of things that I can currently make that produce manure is going to be the Og Manure 4 recipe, and this recipe requires that I make 7.5 bedding per second to net 1. To net 1. And I wasn't so much, while while the power thing was part of this, Immortal, uh, what was also part of this was, if I want to use bedding to make manure, like, that's what I was hoping to do. This, this is what I was hoping to do. I was hoping to be able to make manure with a better recipe out of this. It's like, well, this is not a very good return on that it's like oh i get net one per second extra betting out of this like this is what i have to do for one betting and then i have to think well <laughs> how much manure do i get out of spending that one betting uh yeah anyway this is this is not this is not good if i want to make betting if i want to do manure <laughs> out of betting like that's that's not viable uh, in the alternative, I also have access to the not betting food. Not betting recipe means that I only need 91. 91 og. You know, only casually 91 og. Uh, to feed the 10 grod for the 2 dry grod for the 1 betting. You know, that's. This is. This is more manageable. Would the bedding be useful for other products? Sure. We're, we're establishing that it is not good for manure. Like, we're, we're establishing that it's not good for manure. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's what this ultimately means. So, what can we use the actual bedding for, if not manure? At this phase of the game. I do need shittier animals. Yes, and you know what's a shittier animal? Muckmo. 
or the muckmocks. Uh, I'm pretty sure that those produce more manure than the augs do. Oddly enough. But in order to get to those. Oh god, bedding. Bedding is used for absolutely the everything. <laughs> like, okay. Bedding is required to get better versions of absolutely everything. Every animal. Every animal has recipes that use bedding to produce them. So, question is, what can it be used for out, uh, like besides manure? Absolutely the everything. Like, the absolute everything is what it's used for. For bedding. Uh, some of these are better than others, I'm sure. But as it stands, at this point in time, what could I realistically use it for? Not much. Not much. Not at its current costs. Is how I should uh, phrase that. Not at current costs. Especially when either way it's going to be... Uh, 181 Grod Swamps. And either way it's going to be... Let's see, how much do I need for this 5... For this 5 Yotoi... So that's two aloe. Well, the aloe will come from this recipe. The seeds will come from fruit. Uh, fruit is just made. We'll do we'll do that. So we have to uh, set a factory default stuff that uses the Yotoi. Oh gosh, auto-saving. Five module slots on these. The. 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 Why you know? Why you know to do the, do the thingy? I, 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 I... I said, do the thingy. There you go. There you go. Uh, so, 40 plus 71 on the Yotoi Aloe Orchards uh, for this. Uh... Yeah, so thanks. <laughs> thanks. This is this is this is this is lots lots uh fiber from Kickalk. Let's have a look at the uh let's have a look at the 1 per second Kickalk. Oh boy. Oh joy, oh bliss. Yeah. That that that's that's right. That's what I was expecting. Uh, kick -alk, kick -alk, seven times seven. There we go. Uh, yeah, power. Try with shift click? Oh, that might help. Maybe, that might help. Shift click, yeah. Uh, what, what else? What else? Wood. Wood is what else. Uh, yeah, wood. Wood production. Yeah, wood. I already have the logs recipe. Excuse me. Uh, I have the logs. So how are, how are we going to get logs? Uh, sure, CO two. Uh, and guess what? We'll make our we'll make our CO two out of uh thingies. Thingies. Where's where's thingies? Where's there? Those thingies. Yeah, biomass. We'll get our we'll get our biomass out of. Where is it? Where is it? Where's the thing? Out of those thingies! 
So... Uh, yeah. Things. That's- that's all the things, right? That's- 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 that's all the things? I think- I think this is all the things. I- I think- I think this is all the things, and we're not using the bedding to make better manure. So, without the looping for manure. Uh, alien life touches a lot, but primarily early game. It's primarily changes in the early game. There's still additions later on, mid game, early and mid. I need to do the food too. I mean, yeah, technically, sure, we can we can do the food too, uh, and have a look. Okay, I guess I'll do. The, uh, the Falgi with water recipe, sure, we'll, we'll do that, and we'll get our, we'll get our Falgi spores out of the 60% recipe, although that's not going to matter so much. Uh, this is actually going to be those. Uh, the moss is going to be even more CO2. By, by the by. Uh, we'll do the, uh, we'll... We'll do the... Oh, goodness. That is a much better output if using coarse fraction. I might want to look into that, but for now, uh, stone. Uh, and, and, you know, just seaweed. Seaweed, uh, the one with limestone. Or, you know what? That's, that's six. That's eight, yeah. The one with limestone is still one of the better ones. So, yeah. <laughs> Stuff, things, beautiful, glorious, high limestone. Uh, so, anything, anything else? Anything else I need to break down here further? I've, I've sort of broken down. Oh, Zogna! I haven't, I haven't broken down the Zogna yet. That's, that's more of those things. Oh, I've apparently already done. I've apparently already done on the on the Zogna. There's also like the petri dish I could break down, and the uh, the lamps. The lamps can be broken down, and the uh, the wire. So we can actually get a good, uh, better idea of raw uh, inputs here. Did I do? I didn't do the seeds for the wood. Did I? Nope, I did not do the seeds for the wood either. So there's that. And Yeah. Zogna not done fully. Zogna not done fully. Solver is not disabled. Solver solver is enabled. It is it is doing its thing. Solver is doing its thing. And we've got the lamps. 0.8 plus. Oh, where huh? Do I have Zogna twice? Why did why is this why is this zero? It should be <sighs> Uh, in case you didn't know, positioning matters. Uh, positioning, uh, positioning matters. There you go. Yeah, sometimes it screws up. It just screws up for no good reason. Up, uh, not down. Well, bleh. It was... It... It also depends on whether or not you're on product input or ingredient input. That's that's the other thing, is uh, it it depends on whether or not you're in product or ingredient input. One thing it wants it above, one thing it wants it below. So yeah, stuff. Just just stuff here. There's 
things, lots and lots of things. Uh, this stuff here would clean out as the positioning gets reorganized uh, on this messy output result. Uh, that's just order of things uh, coming into play. Uh, but yeah, so for one bedding, uh, with current recipes, we're looking at... Oh, why is it still... Uh, moss. Uh, hello. There you go. There you go. There's the moss. Uh, why is it still... You there. Do your thing. Same, same with you. Do your thing, do your thing. Again, why are you, why are you all of that? Shouldn't you be included there? Like, uh, alright. Fine. Helmod, be, be Helmod. Sure, I'm, again, seaweed. Seaweed is here already. Why is it not? Oh, because Matrix Matrix Solver was somehow off again. Again, off. Uh, this is the raw. All right, let's just let's just put it. Say this. Okay, this is raw. This is this is the raw inputs to get one bedding with current recipes. Okay, that's that's as far as we're going to go on our raw inputs. I mean, I could do the clay for more steam, but otherwise, this is about as raw of resources as you're going to get. Uh, water, sand, which is water, clay, which is water, tin, I mean, you, you can consider tin, iron, copper, glass, water as well, but yeah, stuff, things. <laughs> so, uh, 181 grod, uh, 91 og, 40 yotoi there, with 71 there, uh, 109 kick alx, um, how many, f 11 fastwood forest trees, interesting, that's not too, that's not a lot, that is actually reasonable, <laughs> wood, actually reasonable, I can't, I can't believe I'm saying that. The the wood is actually reasonable. The Fawagi is actually reasonable. Um, 75 things making limestone. 10 making moss. Um, apparently 7 making seaweed, but I don't know about that. This is not supposed to be made in one single outpost. Yeah, that's... That's the the thought is this is not going to be one outpost. This is going to be several. Uh, there's going to be a Yotoi outpost. There's going to be an Og outpost. There's going to be a uh, Yotoi outpost, a Relizia outpost making fiber, a uh, wood outpost making wood, etc., uh, etc. Et uh. Wood is used elsewhere. I can see having a specific outpost just for wood. I can see having a specific outpost just for uh, the raw fiber from Elysia. That makes a lot of sense. Yotoi gets used in other things, so it's useful to have a uh, production area just for the Yotoi, for the fruit and the leaves, and the Yotoi itself, I think. Of course, Augs deserve their own thing. Uh which would also be producing uh, the urea uh, and, of course, the uh, the grod. Now, the grod, I will say, its primary use is in bedding. Uh, grod, in and of itself, outside of the phyto mining stuff that we don't have access to, it's used in, like, very advanced stuff. Rather, it's, its primary, primary use is uh, going to be in the bedding. So, yeah, that's that's a thing. There there's your feedback for uh for Pinedon. Betting. 
bedding is way too much infrastructure for even one per second on its output. It's it's way too much infrastructure as it stands uh, to do this for the early recipes. I will I will point out this is for the early recipes. There will be better recipes at higher tech that will cost more stuff, but will spread out and will vastly reduce the amount of buildings that you need. And there's going to be increased mark levels of the uh, modules that will make the things go faster. The increased mark levels of the buildings will make the will give them more slots for more modules to make them go faster. So this improves with time, but one per second. I mean, can we at least get one per second for a reasonable cost at the early game? I mean, that's probably not going to be too much to ask, is it? Can, can, can I just get like the, the one per second and not have it cost 500 buildings in total? Uh, of of course, the uh, that the answer is uh, a resounding no. No, we cannot. That is that is the uh, the answer. It's no. One per second feeds how many farms? Uh, we can we can look at that. All right, we can we can look uh, at a separate recipe for something that uses the. Uh, the bedding. So something that uses the bedding, uh well, let's just for sake of argument say uh a caged aug uh four caged caged aug four. Let's say I had ingredient input set to one on bedding uh would be 0.8 caged aug so 129 aug paddocks is how much one per second would feed uh eh i mean that's okay that's a that's a pretty decent output but uh anyway so i think i'm going to take a brief break right here about 11 minutes early or so to uh get up use the restroom and do that sort of stuff and i uh will be back and we'll start building out some form of grod and yotoy and maybe get something that's not zero of the betting today uh we're definitely not going to be targeting one per second that's for certain but uh we can at least target something and build some of this infrastructure so uh yeah i will be back soon where we will get into that and i have returned feeling ever so slightly better, weighing a little bit less than uh, what I weighed prior. So, suggestions on improvement to the bedding recipe. Just to make something official here for suggestions uh, to improve the bedding recipe to make it a little bit less uh, tedious. Oh, thank you so much for the sub, Javi. For the... For the gift sub. Yay. To five others. Rewards. Five emotes to others. To, yeah, to, uh... Hint J1. So, congratulations. Congratulations on the gift. That that uh, that was not expected. Thank you. So much for uh for being so kind. So suggestions on betting. Suggestions on betting. A A dried grod should be one grod to one dried grod. That's that's first. Number one. First thing. It is 
It should be one grod to one dry grod, not five to one. Uh, so that's step one. Step two would be to increase the bedding output on the recipe from one to at least two, if not three. Uh, which, as one might expect, would dramatically, dramatically help to reduce the amount of uh, initial uh, swamps and paddocks and all of that good stuff. Uh, just by having an output of at least two here on this bedding, two if not three, uh, two would have these building counts. Uh, and then further redu reduction from the uh, grod if this uh, was reduced down to only needing uh, five. So this would get cut into, uh, or if, it's, if this was a one to one, here. So instead of needing 10, we'd only need 2. That would reduce this a lot, and then to uh, have 2 on the output uh, would mean that uh, to get 1 per second, we'd only need 1 dried grod per second, which would very much, very much help when it costs urea. In the alternative, reduce the urea cost. Like, in the alternative, reduce the amount of urea is needed to grow the grod. Like, that's, that's an alternative uh, t to help with this. Uh, Yotoi, the way that this works is reasonable. Just reducing the building count by having the two on the output makes sense there. I think that the five Yotoi leaves would be okay. Similarly, the raw fiber, that seems okay as well. Just the sheer high building counts you can you can keep high building counts without it being obscene uh by having two bedding on the output one to one on the dried grod to grod so that was that was awesome yes immortal you missed a uh you missed a gift sub being given yay hi welcome to all the everyone who has come to watch me complain. Because that's what we do here. We complain. That's what we do. We, uh, we, uh, we, uh, complain. That's what we, that's what we do here. So. All of this depends on stuff moving. We need, we need things to move. Uh, and if I want to just have a little bit of an initial setup here that's producing not quite one per second on the uh, on the bedding, because as we've established, to do the one per second on the bedding, we're going to actually need to have separate factories for a lot of this. Oh god, that's the that's the alarm for the normal break time. Let's uh, let's let's make sure that that's cleared. We didn't look at all the ways to get the grod. Um, the way that we looked at is the best way that is currently available with current tech. So what we looked at was the best recipe we have access to right now on getting the grod. There are other grod recipes that we will have access to later, but there will also be better kickalk recipes, there will be better yotoi recipes, there will be better wood potentially, uh, that we could do as well, theoretically. So there's, there's other things. What will we, <laughs> what will we break today? Yeah, good, uh, good punny. Very, very punny. Well, we're trying not to break things, but, uh, we're showing things that are broken. Like, there are things that are broken right now. Uh, let's, let's just go and... Hit that add recipe button and we can have a look. Yeah, we're sort of forced to use the best uh, grod recipe at the beginning, but there are, like, all of the grod recipes, no matter what, every single one uses urea. So, all, all grod recipes require urea as, as part of that. I guess later, later we'll get a recipe that doesn't use grod. That, that doesn't use urea. Yay, it uses manure. 
directly rather than urea. But in some way, it's going to consume the manure. It In some way, it's always going to be consuming manure. It will be a lot better. It will be significantly better when it's not using urea because that saves on the uh, on the everything, basically. That That will save dramatically. That does not use urea. But it uses fertilizer, which is a completely separate beast in and of itself. So it's like, yeah, there are going to be recipes that are good and decent later. Yes, it is it is it is the same shit. Uh urea being made from liquid manure, which is made from the manure. There are there is another way of getting the urea and that's from wastewater, but we currently don't have access to wastewater at scale. Um if I do phyto mining, I'll have access to uh some things, wastewater at scale. So yeah, that's that's the grod. This should be this should be one to one, these recipes on the dried grod. You could you could either have grod into dried grod in an evaporator, or grod plus hot air into dry grod. Faster. Instead of being eight seconds, it's five. Yay. Uh, the thing about trying to quote-unquote fix manure uh, is that that is a lot of recipes that have to be manually changed if you want to make adjustments to the output of manure. <laughs> like, the, the, way, the way that it's coded, these things are individual recipes that have been listed out. These aren't produced via some form of script from what i from what i can tell these were not made from some sort of script these were actually done by hand written written out each one individually could it be done through a script i think so but it that's not how it is currently just or you could probably if you're doing like a blanket output boost you could probably just say hey take every recipe round up or multiply by 25% and round up. You could you might be able to do that. By find, find everything that outputs manure and then multiply the amount that it produces by 1.25 round up. I don't know if the Lua is really capable of doing that particularly easily. So, yeah, that's stuff let's let's build shall, shall we build i want to build oh i want i want to build can we build please please can we uh can we can we build let's do like point one rather than one let's do point one have not zero uh, on the output the lowest the lowest we can go these are more reasonable numbers these are numbers i am okay with I like these numbers. These numbers look nice to me. I wish that these numbers would give me 1 per second, not 0.1. Or even 0.5, let alone 0.1. Uh, so yeah, we need to start this by producing the uh, fruit uh, out of these things. Yeah, so... We start by making the fruit and then converting the fruit into the uh, the seeds, fruit into seeds. And then you use the seeds to produce more aloe. And then you use the seeds to produce the actual uh, aloe through, uh, through this recipe right here, which uh, you may notice they are they are very similar. One is using pure, or is using actual sand. The other is using uh, limestone soil This and uh, stone. So limestone, stone, soil, and this one is limestone, sand, and seeds. 
Can't remember when the base recipe was best recipe. Ah. So yeah, yo toy, slightly different than most other uh, stuffs. These will just go infinitely, and you never have to you never have to worry about having like using all of your Eotoy aloe and not having enough aloe to make seeds. You never have to worry about running out of seeds uh, for this particular setup. Here, you have to worry about running out of seeds. Here, you have to worry about running out of the, uh, the seeds. So, let's see. Limestone, soil, urea. Limestone, soil, stone, sand, limestone. So, limestone, sand, soil, <laughs> stone. Uh, I don't even have stone, like, on my network, so I have to figure out something with stone. Just get it quickly onto onto my network or something along those lines. Uh, kick galk will be what will produce the fiber. Did I not grab... Oh, it's probably in my car. The, uh, the kick galk plantations. Yeah, you guys. Those, those are the ones. You know, glorious kick galk. Kick galk's going to need lamps. Or else we'll have a lot more buildings than what I would intend. Uh, I could choose not to do lamps. I would lose one individual kick elk. So. Here is one of the intended mechanics behind Pi Alien Life. This is, this is part of the intended mechanics. We are able to choose... Whether or not we want less kick elk plantations, but have to import lamps, or have more kick elk plantations and not have to import lamps. So, which is the more annoying slash tedious thing to do? Between bring in more lamps or add extra kick elk plantations? Yeah, it's like, I think I would take more plantations for not having to worry or deal with lamps, worry about or deal with lamps at all. Here's the thing, though. We will need urea. If we want to do urea locally, we're going to need lamps anyway. 